My name is Joan Schmidt. I used to be Joan Dosh. I lived in Crosby all my life until I graduated from high school. This is the park which I frequented, uh, the swimming beach. It's a beautiful lake. It's about four miles long and Serpent Lake. Right? Serpent Lake. We used to have band concerts here where we we're sitting. Just a wonderful place to grow up. Well, yesterday we came back to our, our town to check out what was new. We had a very nice time going back to my old house, uh, our high school, our church. The church we attended was St. Joseph's Catholic Church. We would attend uh, not only Sunday services, but we, when I was in uh, school, we would also have some catechism classes there and a series of priests some were old, some were young, some were in between. But all of our family uh, attended regularly. It meant a lot to us. We were considered ourselves middle class, actually. There were, there were some people who were well-to-do, who lived on the quote, Gold Coast along the lake, but there were a lot poorer people than we were. There was a single lady who was probably at least in her 60s who lived across the street on the corner. And she always dressed up and she always had a lot of makeup on. She was Finnish lady, her name was Mrs. Tapala. People noticed that she had frequent male visitors visiting her. I, of course, was naive and I didn't know anything about that, but people kind of avoided her because they felt there was something going on there that was not quite right. My brother, who was six years my senior, he always said to me, Joan, you like everybody, including Mrs. Tapola. I guess God gave me that. My mother was more of a maybe pessimistic person. My father could always think of something funny. He was a kind of a joker, and he didn't seem to be moved by things as much. Well, one day, I was probably late grade school, but I was always curious. We had metal clotheslines in those days, and for whatever reason, I went up and I put my mouth on that in the middle of the winter and it wouldn't come off. I, I couldn't get my mouth open after I put my mouth up there. So by the time I did, I lost a little bit of tissue from my mouth. Well, from the lips. I learned a lesson, which did me, did me well in my nurse's, later nurse's training. When I finished high school, I worked for <clears throat> the summer at a 24-bed hospital uh, as, as just a nurse's aide. Right in town here? Yeah? Right in town. Okay. It had two floors, uh, 12 beds on each floor, no elevator. Mm -hmm. uh, four nuns operated it, and one of them had to carry the patients upstairs if they had to go up for surgery. I followed in my sister Gladys's footsteps 10 years after she graduated and I went into nurses training after the hospital work and went to St. Paul and graduated from Anchor Hospital, which is the same hospital my sister graduated from. I love coffee, I love tea, I love the java java and it loves me. Once a year we would have a father-daughter banquet and uh, my father never was able to come, but I got a group together of my uh, nursing classmates to represent, at that time, the Ink Spots were a black group who had a very, very good record as far as being famous at that time, and they did a very good job. They had a very tall singer who was, had a very, very high voice, and they had a very short uh, vocalist who had a very deep voice. Then they also had a guitar player and another one that did melody. So we uh, decided to uh, play some Ink Spot records 
on the side and mime the music. So I was the one that did some singing and playing the guitar and we had the perfect sizes. We had a tall girl, a short girl, and then two in the middle. We had two songs we sang. One was called Java Jive. Sure. I love coffee, I love tea, I love the Java Jive, and it loves me. The other one was Do I Worry. The one with the real high voice would say, Do I worry when you're stepping out? Do I worry? When you've got, you've me, got in me in doubt, and when evening, and when evening shadows, shadows creep, do I lose any sleep, dear? Oh, I do. Do I worry? Do you I worry? You can bet your life. I do. Then the little short one would come out. Do I worry? Do I worry? When the ice man calls. When you're stepping out, do I worry? Do I worry when you got me in doubt? So, anyway, they loved the they loved it. So from there on, we were asked to do it frequently, and there was an, a fellow there who was an agent, talent agent, to getting talent for various places, and he heard us and he thought that we were very good. And he asked if sometime we could do it at a nightclub downtown St. Paul. But also, he wanted us to go on a bus with other professional entertainers to a hospital in another city in Minnesota at some time. Well, we thought that was pretty cool, but our head nurse got wor words of that. She called me into her office and she said, Miss Dosh, I understand that you have been in invited to go to these two places. And she said, we can never have our student nurses go with professionals. That is absolutely out. Neither to the nightclub nor on the bus with the others, of course, the they probably would corrupt us. Do I worry? You can bet your life on. I do. We had always no f good football, but we had wonderful basketball teams. And the fellows were never tall. They were always short and very fast and accurate shooters. Okay. So by the time we would win the district championship, we would go to state four years in a row while I was in high school. But anyway, we had a song, a fight song that we always sang. When the maroon and white of CI sweeps on to victory up to the sky, ring forth the joyous shouts of CI in mighty chorus as hopes beat high to sons who dare to challenge victory to daughters fair whoever true will be give all your loyalty to CI and may her glory ne'er fade nor die Ra, ra, ra. <laughs> <laughs> All right, excellent.